All right, let's make this quick. Today, we're going to discuss the UV5RX3, a radio I purchased from Radiotity. It's a tri-band radio capable of 2 meters, 70 centimeters, and 1.25 meters. This radio cost me $42, and it shipped pretty quick. I got it in a few days from the store, which is an amazing deal. In fact, this radio is advertised as FCC certified, and doing a little research online, it does appear to be FCC certified. And again, I say this every episode, but it doesn't necessarily matter if it is or isn't FCC certified as long as it meets the requirements of spectrum purity as outlined in Part 97 of the FCC rules and regulations. So for $42, you also get a programming cable and two antennas. We're going to talk more about all that in just a second, but those antennas that you get, one of them's for 2 meter 70 centimeters and one of them's for 1.25 meter operations. The port on the radio itself is an SMA male, which means if you wanted to purchase an antenna after market, you would get yourself an SMA female, much like this counterfeit Nagoya I have right here. It screws on in, and it definitely helps with a little bit more or an increase in range for receive. And another thing we should probably talk about is on the back of the radio, we have a 1800 milliamp hour battery. I've tested the model BL5 Baofeng battery in the past, and it has tested close to 1800 milliamp hours. So I don't think there's a reason to test that again today. However, then I turned on the radio and I tested this radio to see if it works with Chirp. But before I did that, to my surprise, this was already programmed on multiple frequencies that weren't anywhere within the ham or amateur radio bands. So it kind of got me curious, and to my surprise, or lack thereof, I discovered that the radio does transmit on a large variety of frequencies to include FRS, GMRS, NOAA weather radio, and many others to not be discussed. Now, if we think about that, uh, I don't understand how this is an FCC certified radio, but maybe Radiodity did some magic. I then continued on with Chirp, and I deleted everything, but then re-added and created my own code plug or basically programmed the radio with Chirp. In order to do so, you have to click on radio, go to Radiotity, find UV5RX3, select it, and you're good to go. Now, I will also say at this point, I decided maybe we should test the power output ratings, and they were pretty close to 5 watts power out, which is what this radio advertises, so that's a good deal on high power. On low power, I was getting about 2.5 watts out, and that was on 2 meters, and on 1.25 meters, but 70 centimeters, I didn't get anywhere close to 5 watts of power out, as you can see here. That only leaves one or two more things to test, and the first thing I decide I want to test is to see how clean this is on the Spectrum Purity, being a FCC certified radio. And uh, yeah, to my lack of surprise, again, it didn't look too good. In fact, when I was transmitting on 146.52, my harmonic that I was transmitting was nearly as strong or as powerful as the actual fundamental frequency I was transmitting on. So I grabbed my SDR, and uh, to my lack of surprise again, yeah, I was transmitting on multiple frequencies at the same time, which, by the way, is a great thing for preppers who are trying to remain low-key and not be found. But with all that said, I decided to maybe just uh, see what I should do for receive on this radio and how does it sound on receive. So let's go ahead together right now and scan this radio, see if we could pick anything up and how does it sound. Is it any different from a UB5R? Well, I think the answer is going to be no. While we're waiting for this radio to scan and maybe hopefully pick somebody up that's talking on a repeater, I do want to mention that, yeah, I gave it a good effort and I contacted Radiotity to ensure, are you sure that this radio is properly FCC certified? And I was told yes. So, you know, I guess they're kind of correct and they weren't being deceptive because the radio is certified, but it definitely doesn't meet any kind of requirements. And I know that's not a big deal for some people and that's not my deal. I'm just kind of letting people know my findings. So let's see if we can maybe find something being received with this killer fake Nagoya antenna.
Well, that repeater is about 15 miles away. Not bad. No, it's fine. Favorite gas station on the way to work? No real difference between the aftermarket antenna, but the aftermarket antenna would be nice if you had a tri-band radio that you were going to use legally because then you wouldn't have to swap out between the 1.25 meter and the 2 meter and the UHF. Maybe if you're using them simultaneously, one after another after another, it would become cumbersome to have to swap them out. So if I were to have any recommendations about this radio, it would be understand that according to my testing, it doesn't really seem to be certified. Uh, I should probably have said it doesn't appear to meet the requirements for spectrum purity. And if that doesn't bother you, maybe look into a tri-band antenna so you don't have to constantly swap things out. If I was radiotity, I would maybe make sure that this thing is properly FCC certified and maybe include a, a tri-band antenna like this. I think that would be really nice for the end user or the client. But as of right now, I don't think it would be the best thing in the world for me to recommend this radio if you're looking for purity. If you're looking for a radio that will transmit anywhere, it does work. But then again, so does a UB5R when it's unlocked. And that's all that this really is, is an unlocked UB5R. But it was fun to take a look at it. I think I'm going to return it right after I make a couple of tweets. Well, I know I just angered about a thousand or more people, but I thought that was kind of comical. Now, the fact of the matter is, again, I don't care. But uh, if you're purchasing this radio with the expectations that you're getting a radio that is certified and is going to be within standards, it's not. But anyway, I had a fun time making this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll wait for the comments here that I did the testing wrong or that I'm, I'm a horrible person for this. Uh, but my counter then would be, I want to see your test results. Let me know in the comments below. And no, I didn't really post that tweet, but uh, you should still like, comment, subscribe, or dislike it. I don't really care.